with uh, Liam. Liam has, um, are we still in stage one of the objectives movement? Uh, what would uh, classify as stage two? So stage one is uh, ignorance of. Stage two would be um, uh, denial, and stage three is acceptance. Um, I, you know, so it, it depends on what you mean by stage one, stage two, and stage three. But I think it's still early, <laughs> put it that way. I think the culture has absorbed a lot of objectivism. The culture has absorbed a lot of Ayn Rand. Um, a, a lot of good things about objectivism are, uh, well, everything's about objectivism is good, but a, a, lot of, a, lot of the, a lot of fragments of objectivism, if you will, the objectivism is a system, but elements of objectivism have been integrated somewhat into the culture and into thinking. The full system has not been, the full integration has not. There are pieces of it out there, pieces of, of, of reason and rationality, where Ayn Rand has really had an impact, but there's still a lot of work to do. Uh, we're still very early. There's still just not enough objectivists, and, and primarily there's just not enough objectivist intellectuals. Um, it's much more prevalent now than it was in any time in history. There's a lot more activity. There's a lot more content. There's a lot more uh, things going on. There are a lot more people involved. It's not even in the same ballpark as the 1960s, where it was Ayn Rand and, and Nathaniel Brandon. Now, granted, they were giants, particularly Ayn Rand, and there's no giants of their, of their uh, uh, scope anymore. And then there was Leonard Peikoff, another giant, and there's no giant like Leonard Peikoff anymore. But then there were a lot of mini a lot of mini giants, a lot of really, really good people, many more now than they were back then. Uh, people, the intellectuals today, put aside Rand, Brandon, P Leonard, uh, you know, and maybe some of the, the Harry and some others. I think the, the intellectuals today who are objectivist are much more uh, knowledgeable objectivist, about objectivism. Uh, but, but yeah, I, I think it's much bigger than it was. Uh, much more substantial, much more influential than it was. Um, uh, the, all that work that Ayn Rand and Leonard Peikoff and to some extent Nathaniel Brandon did in the 1960s and 70s influenced the culture, changed the culture already, and it's going to change the culture even more in the future. Um, it's almost now. It was never on national television back then. It was almost never on national television, and to the extent that it was, it was Ayn Rand, and Ayn Rand's of course not around, and it was, but. Uh, you know, the, the, we've been on, I've been on television, if I can say so, I've been on television more than Ayn Rand was. Um, not as good, obviously, not as influential, obviously, um, but, I, but have been. Uh, you know, it's not an issue, uh, but, you know, Ayn Rand now often appears in, in, in different TV series, whether it was Mad Men or uh, Dirty Dancing, one of her books appeared, the, you know, the characters, the, the, the shows that, uh, what was it, the, the, the animated show uh, that Pixar did that was clearly influenced by ideas from Ayn Rand, even the, the, the director said so. Didn't necessarily do a good job of it, but, uh, but, but heavily influenced. You know, Rand was in Johnny Carson, uh, yeah, three times. It's amazing. And she was on other big shows, but all right. Television was very different back then. You had long shows where people talked. There are no shows like that anymore. Um, and, and in terms of shows that number of people watch, look at some of the places that objectivists have been interviewed. Look at the, the influence Alex Epstein is having. Look at the number of peop places he's been, you know, uh, people he's talked to, shows he's been on. Uh, it, it, it truly is uh, amazing how much reach objectivism is having today. Um, I think much more reach than it had in the 1960s. And Ayn Rand's books are selling more today than they sold in the 1960s. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbrookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one of those uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Iran Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and of course subscribe 
press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are ready subscribers and those of you who are ready supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.